Spring rains often bring lots of earthworms to the surface where they wriggle around on the sidewalks and on the roads and on the soil. But recently in Hoboken, heavy rainfall brought something a little more unusual, a worm nado. A woman who lived in Hoboken was taking a morning walk in a park near the Hudson River, and she saw like swirly designs on the road, but then she noticed that the swirly designs were actually earthworms. And when she looked a little more closely, she saw that at one spot where the sidewalk met the grass, there was what looked like a spiral of earthworms, just an enormous worm nado. Earthworms are known to come out in great numbers uh, after it's uh, after there's been heavy rainfall because worms breathe through their skin. So when they're in soil that becomes saturated with water after heavy rain or after flooding, then they have to come up to the surface for air, for air or they're going to drown. So often you will see after it rains large numbers of earthworms. And earthworms are actually known to form these clumps. Scientific research has actually shown that worms, even though they're typically solitary, that they can form herds. So they actually will group together and work collectively and move collectively. And they communicate uh, through touch rather than through scent signals as, uh, say, ants do, for instance. And a couple of the scientists that I spoke to study a type of aquatic worm called the California black worm. And these worms are actually known to form these massive worm balls with 50,000 worms or, or even more. Again, they, uh, they form these balls usually when conditions are, are dry, such as during a drought. Uh, and, and this is a way of protecting themselves against dry conditions. And a worm that is in a large, moist ball of thousands of other worms has a better chance of surviving and not drying out than a lone worm all by itself. And grouping together like this can actually provide some protection against predators or against pathogens, uh, microorganisms that they might encounter in the soil. But what exactly was happening with the worm NATO? Well, that's a little less clear. I spoke to some scientists about this, and a couple of whom said that they had never seen this type of behavior before, and that it was really intriguing, and could I get some samples of the worms for them to look at so they could tell what species the worms were? I said no, unfortunately. Uh, by the time I heard about this, uh, the worms were, were long gone. So couldn't, unfortunately, couldn't collect any worms for the scientists to look at. And, and of course, uh, scientists, you know, they need as much data as they can if they're going to try and figure out what something peculiar like this is. If, if it's a behavior they've never seen before, they need to know more about the species, they need to know more about just the general topography of where the worms were found, and they need obviously as much data as possible about just what the circumstances were to figure out what was happening. But what one possibility is that it might have something to do with the way that the with the way that the walkway and the land around there were structured so that the way that the after the heavy after heavy rain and there had been heavy rainfall the night before the woman saw this worm nado possibly the way that the water drained may have swept the worms into a shape that resembles spiral so it's possible that the worm nado had more to do with a direction that the worms were carried in by water rather than anything behavioral. But again, without more information, I, you know, this is this is all speculative, and all the scientists were very clear about that, that uh, that it's really hard to look at something like this from a distance without having all the information and be able to say for sure this is definitively what's happening. Whatever it was that may have caused this worm nado, it didn't last. And uh, the woman who found and photographed the worm nado told me that when she went back a few hours later, the there were still plenty of worms around, but the worm nado itself was gone. And where those worms went, nobody knows. Thank you.